Hey, OV family, keep it high, keep it tight. It's Shay Moore, sir. If you got back to bring you another video. <sighs> One thing that I try to pride myself with this channel is I try to be straight up with you guys. If there's an album that I'm not gonna like really want to lie about, I will come right out and say if I genuinely just didn't enjoy something. And that has caused some of the videos that I've made with the worst like dislike to like ratio. And that's perfectly understandable because music and entertainment and art in general is extremely subjective and uh like i was very outspoken that i wasn't a big fan of ghost's new album big fan of their past work but prequel just or prequel however you say it i just wasn't a fan of that album i've even went back to it and given it another chance i wasn't big about it but bottom line i just want you guys to know that if you have a different opinion i love to hear why you thought something was otherwise uh, if you want to dislike the video, you can, but just give a reason in the comments below why you disagreed with my opinion. Why did you find something entertaining? Because I am super open to hearing opinions about things that I dislike to hear the other side of the spectrum. With that said, God, this is the worst album I've heard this year. <laughs> I built up to that. I really did build up to that. It's it's just, we're talking about Elegy by Finner's Kane. It's so weak. It's it's by far the most mind-numbingly mundane album that I've heard all year, hands down. I wasn't a fan of Shinedown's new album. I wasn't a fan of Godsmack's new album, Jonathan Davis's album, Ghost's album, uh, the new Skeleton Witch album I was iffy on. But boy, does this take the cake. So, Finner's Kane, they're an atmospheric black metal slash doom metal band, black metal band. They're just basically a black metal band with some atmosphere added, that um, has released two albums before this. I'm going to be honest, I haven't listened to much of them in the past, so I can't really comment on their previous material. But this is a seven-track atmospheric black metal album with literally the most boring, unexperimental atmospheric black metal that I have heard pretty much ever. I went into this album like, hey... I really like atmospheric black metal. Maybe this is going to be something new that I can listen to. But I was so wrong, and this album is so weak on so many levels. The instrumentation is just extremely staticky, extremely just uneventful. There's not really any part. See, black metal in and of itself is a very abrasive type of genre, but when you make the instruments sound so boring, like the whole point of atmospheric black metal is to build atmosphere. And it's sad because it's obvious this album was really trying hard to make that atmosphere happen. But they just failed so miserably on every, pretty much every accord. Um, the vocals, they're pretty atmospheric black metal 101. There is nothing interesting about them. They are just shrieked, and they are mixed to the point to where they're just way in the background, barely able to be audible. And I have to say that the mixing, even for a black metal album, even for an atmospheric black metal album, is extremely weak. I felt like it, it could have been done better. I mean, it just... There's not much I can find that's good to say about this album. And... Listening through it, I was hoping something was going to catch my ear and be entertaining, but track after track, it was just these very boring, just black metal 101 instrumentals with these shrieked vocals way in the background, barely audible, so in the background that it's just, it's barely there, barely piercing the music, and if that, uh, the, I mean, I'm trying my best here to try to find a redeeming quality about this. But I can't even say it's a good atmospheric black metal album because I've heard better atmospheric black metal albums. I have heard so many better atmospheric black metal albums and just black metal albums in general. Even some this year that truly surpass this album in spades and do what this album was genuinely trying to do. I can see what they were going for. I can see they were really, really trying hard to make this, to make this whole thing work. But it just never worked out for them. And I'm really sorry. I, I'm about to literally blow Ghost out of the water. I'm going to give this album a 1 out of 10. It's by far the weakest album that I've pretty much... I know it's harsh, but maybe ever heard. 
honestly, genuinely might be the weakest album I've ever heard. Definitely the weakest this year. Definitely the most disappointing this year. And the sad thing is, is I've heard nice things about this album recently, and I just, I don't know where they're coming from. But if you enjoy this band, if you enjoyed this album, feel free to post in the comments why uh, it just wasn't for me. I couldn't find anything here that I was interested in. And don't think that I'm not into music like this. Wolves in the Throne Room, they're one of my favorite bands. Like, I, I, I get into this type of music. But Finner's Kane really fell short for this album for me. So please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this album and why. Like, comment, subscribe. In the end screen, you can find my previous videos. I might, like, link uh, my Wolves in the Throne Room video. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. This has been Jay Morse, Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Oh,